Today we're in the kitchen because we are going to talk about how to heat your rice heat pads or flaxseed heat pads. That I taught you how to make in a longer video on my YouTube channel. The first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to learn your microwave. Everyone is a little bit different. So the first time you're heating these up, start with like 30 seconds to a minute. So this size, I heat for 30 to 45 seconds. So if you're starting and you're like, okay, let me test my microwave, I would start 30 seconds on this, see how you like it. If you want it warmer, add another 15 seconds just to get a feel for how long to put this size in. Now for this size, I do a minute to a minute and a half. If you want it to be warmer, you can add 15 seconds or 30 second increments. The more material that's inside, the longer it's gonna take to heat up. So the longer increments you can do as you're testing. Now this big puppy, my favorite, we put in for two and a half, usually about two and a half minutes the first time we put it in. And that gets pretty, pretty nice and toasty and holds the heat. And this one does have flaxseed in it and not rice. The other two have rice. Flaxseed will heat up a little bit more and it stays hot a little bit longer. Also be careful when you're using them. If they're pretty hot to the touch, you don't wanna put them directly on your skin or you can burn yourself. Especially with kids, definitely better to put this on top of a t-shirt or, or a blanket or a towel. My last tip is about reheating. So say you're loving this, but you're not quite done and it's not quite warm enough, you wanna put it back in, never put it back in for the same amount of time because there's going to already be some heat in there and you need to account for that. So if I ever reheat this one, I usually add another minute, minute and a half tops, not the original two and a half minutes. Because if you do leave these in too long for the first time or overheat them when you're reheating them, you can cause them to burn a little bit. I have seen fabric um, almost look like it has a cigarette burn or it turns brown because what's inside is just heating it up a little bit too much. So these are wonderful. Just make sure you're using common sense, paying attention and using safety. So if you want to learn how to make these, they're wonderful for yourself. They are wonderful gifts. They're really easy to things to make to sew and sell and they're not super expensive and it's something that everyone loves. 